Did you know this car had 500 million views on the internet? Because it's been appeared in Rihanna's video clip. If you don't know it, search it. I'm gonna give you a link in description. But wait till the end because we're gonna show you around this car and the whole story behind this Skoda. Let's have a look at today's episode. Right, so we are in the rarest place in Europe, central of Europe, because I think personally, I might be wrong, but this is the rarest car collection in central Europe, which is available for the public. And today, uh, Marcel is going to be showing us this beautiful location. Double Red Car Museum. Double Red Car Museum in Slovakia. And we are in the most amazing place, Low Tatras. I'm just gobsmacked with this place. Please. <laughs> Thank you. We stood by this beautiful Porsche. Yeah, one of the first Gembala ever produced. It was produced for uh, Sultan of Brunei. Get this, got this very specific yellow color, the, the custom uh, interior, which is also stitching with, with yellow. So all the bottoms was gold plated by the 24 carats gold. And uh, instead of rear seats, they, they put a uh, safe for money, yeah, or uh, gold maybe, and the refrigerator with, with keepers for uh, champagne and the glasses for champagne. So this is really, if, if somebody don't know what this tuner is, you know, Gambala, this is, was the most exclusive tuner ever. Ever. Yeah, and most expensive tuner ever, yeah. So just to put it into perspective, compared to like new cars, what this car cost when it was new? Uh, minimum double price of the, on the new car. Okay. Yeah. So minimum double, yeah, yeah. and was so exclusive so, you can't. So just this order. car, uh, this car cost was uh, was around uh, two hundred fifty thousand uh, German marks on the beginning of eighties. So it's, it's crazy. crazy, yeah. It's crazy money. It's crazy yeah. money. But it's still not the the most expensive car from Gembala. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's one of them the first one. Yeah, it's so, one of the first uh, the first model. 1981, they, they started with this model and it was the first model uh, from Gembala, from Uwe Gembala. So we can go to the next car. This is the most expensive car in museum when it was new. Yeah. And I think it's uh, my opinion that it's the most expensive car uh, from Gembala, which was ever built. And it's Gembala Cyrus, one of 13. And this is modified by a roof. So it's roof engine, a roof transmission. It was only 13 pieces uh, built over the world and only six with roof, uh, this roof tuning, let's say. Yeah? So the price of this car was at 40,000 German marks higher when it was new, like the price of uh, Ferrari F40 at this time. The price of this car was almost 500,000 uh, euro Deutsche Mark, yeah? German, German mark at this moment. So if you think about it, how expensive this car is, you know, nobody can afford a Ferrari F40 really, because that was like the top mark yeah, you know yeah, back yeah, in the day yeah, yeah. and yes. everybody know remember that need for speed you know the the game you know it's we only seen it in a game never seen in real life i mean till today i never knew this car was exist yeah. one of the owner of this car was a famous rapper from 90s uh one lies yes yeah? so so this the, actual yeah, car yeah 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 fantastic it's it's super rare and it's it's uh uh generally it's it's one of the most extreme uh, 911 what was ever made yeah it's huge. a really extreme car i've never seen yeah, anything yeah. like six it. six pipes uh, this this huge huge tires uh, 345 and what, what why the gambala was so expensive one was the the precision of the interior very very uh, good interior uh, but what uh, what was the difference between other tunnels like koenig specials or or uh, strosek uh, the main uh, difference was that everything on gambala uh, was made by steel it was not uh, not fiberglass. Fiberglass, yes. So it which is makes very, it more expensive. Very expensive, and uh, it was manufactured to do everything, yeah, with, with the steel. It was something like a new car when they built it, two mounts, yeah. And the build quality is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're probably not going to see it in a picture as as you know as close up like we do in here, but the build quality of these cars is just absolutely amazing. Yeah. Shall we go for the next car? Yeah.
so okay, we come to this. I don't know. It's just a crazy looking Mercedes. I can't. <laughs> I can't make anything of it. You know, it looks like a modern Mercedes Black Edition, but back yeah. in the day. So yeah. it's. So it is the widest Mercedes you can you can bought at uh, 80s. So it's uh, two meters and eight centimeters. So when you compare with with uh, the the most uh, most. It's a lorry. Yeah, basically. Uh, it's for example Ferrari Testarossa with Lamborghini Countach. The the width of the car was. Uh, uh, two two meters, yeah, almost two meters. So this car is uh, ten centimeters wider than uh, the, the the widest series car of 80s like Testarossa or Contach, yeah. And uh, it's super rare uh, because there was only it's it's difficult to say. We uh, I have information five of this car uh, produced, but uh, some guy who, who told me uh, he, he works in Germany at these years, maybe in Gembala. He told me that they produce only three pieces. Yes, so wow, uh, it's really super rare because Gembala was uh, was uh, tuner of Porsche, and he he made only few pieces from uh, another brands. Yes, so five around five Mercedes uh, from Gembala it's on the road. Yeah. So it's an extremely rare car. Yeah, yeah. And uh, also all it's it's made by steel and the price of this car at 80s was uh, around 350,000 Deutsche Mark so crazy price standard Mercedes uh, cost uh, maybe around 100,000 Deutsche Mark so it's three more than three times higher price for this piece. Wow when it was new as a standard Mercedes. So if you're thinking about it, like modern cars cost, I don't know, like a modern Porsche or uh, an Aston Martin cost like 200,000 euros or something like that. It's, so it's, this is like a modern car cost 800,000 no, euros, no, really, more, isn't it? More, more, more. No, 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 more. I'm just saying to compare, yeah. you know, like yeah. if you buy a box standard car today, yeah, yeah, time yeah, it yeah, by yeah, three yeah, times. Three so times. If, yeah, if, yeah, if, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Amazing. I mean, it's a car, it's just, you can't really see it how amazing looking this car is and the wheel size and you know it's deep dish wheels it's it's crazy we're next to a bmw which is super popular these days e30 yeah. e30 is one of them the most upcoming classic car altogether isn't it because they're going up in prices like ridiculous but this is really special this is uh one of 50 koenig specials ever made and this car is number one yeah it was owned by koenig special specials in 86 and 87 so there was, let's say, some show car uh, of Koenig specials. And this is an M3, because I've seen the M3 badges yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. So it's a 2.3 liter four cylinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. And this was the demonstration car for yeah, Koenig? number one. Number one. Ever produced. Wow. And they produced then around 50 pieces. Yeah. That's the, uh, the difference, as was told yeah, about Gembala, that, that it's fiberglass body, and Gembala was made completely from steel, so the prices of Gambala was double comparing the Koenig specials at this time. Right. And there is one interesting story about Testarossa. You sure never heard because you don't know about Gembala. That uh, these trips. Yes. Yeah. When Gembala, uh, Uwe Gembala, first time uh, viewed the, the Testarossa, he was very nervous because uh, in his mind they stolen him these strips because he started before Testarossa used the strips on, on such oh, on the the stars, yeah. The, for the air, yeah. yeah. So uh, the, the retro tuners used these strips and Testarossa stolen from them, yeah. And uh, Uwe Gembala was so so crazy when he saw this Testarossa that uh, he even even he never uh, modified the Ferraris, yeah. He was Porsche tuner. He bought two Ferrari Testarossa, yeah, and he put down the strips. Uh, only to show the, to the designer that they can make the car all, uh, without uh, the, the designers of Ferrari, they can uh, build the car without copy of, of uh, retro tuners. And uh, he painted it to yellow, to the Porsche yellow, yeah, only to, to punish, let's say, this, this, 
these uh, stolen of the strips. Yeah. So he was so, really got onto his nerves. Uh, Ferrari made this design. Yeah. And if we have got the picture there, so we will show them the, to the viewers then. And uh, there was this uh, 987 uh, Ferrari. So two pieces from Gembala Testarossa was was made yeah with a uh, porsche yellow color without strips fantastic <laughs> yeah so we buy an aston martin virage yeah which is a really rare car yeah 426 and pieces and is in beautiful beautiful british racing green or is it british racing green yeah i think it's it's or it's something very similar <laughs> with the beige interior classic classic british sports car so tell us about it you you love this car yeah, I love this design of the car because it's uh, absolutely another, like we know from Aston Martin, yeah, on, when, when the DB7 replaced this model. So af after DB7, all Aston Martin has this typical shape, but this was also Aston Martin one time. Yeah, it's just, for the viewers, this is just so out of proportion, this car, you know, the wheels and the tires looks like a 60s, 70s muscle car. You know, I think it looks fantastic. It's just... A really amazing yeah. car. I love this car. Yeah, and it's this the uh, this this number of produced car is it's really shocked for me that only 400 pieces they they produce of such a this car. And it's left hand drive. Yeah. <laughs> so it makes it even rarer because yeah, Aston yeah, Martin, yeah, you know, yeah, it's it's uh, maybe half was uh, left hand drives from all these 400 pieces. Fantastic. Let's go see another car. some cool looking t-shirt design you can buy it on amazon.com amazon.co.uk and every purchase you make you helping my channel growing i leave the link in description i think one of them the best color combination we got in here yeah we got the red porsche a gray porsche one of them my favorite blue and orange because yeah. i'm racing blue and orange that's yeah. my one of them my favorite colors yeah. right next to super rare jaguar because just tell us about it. This is one of one, so it's never, never been. It's prototype one of one Jaguar Monaco. After that car, that was produced uh, another eleven pieces, and uh, number two and number three was uh, for Brunei Sultan of Brunei. So he bought two pieces because the car was very exclusive at this moment. Probably he loves, uh, he loved the car. Yeah, or he loves the car. So uh, the car was on the all prestige magazine at at eighties, let's say. So really exclusive car, one of one. Yeah, because this is like an XJS, yeah, almost with like a body kit on it, with, with an XK body kit on it. If somebody don't know this, yeah, car, but but uh, before, way before, way before, yeah, way before, yeah, way yeah. before so, the shape of so Jaguar came it out. So they, they in Jaguar they take uh, inspiration from Monaco for a new model. Then yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, V12, yeah, around 400 horsepower. So this is the same engine like the XJS have th that sort of era V12 engines. I it's guess. V12, uh, but it was replaced uh, for more stronger from XJR. Uh, XJR. XJR. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. But it's replaced uh, with the best uh, Jaguar expert in England. I don't know the name now. Uh, and uh, also the, the car was made in the same factory as XJ220. That's the interesting Which thing. is, yeah. was one of them the, the fastest, yeah. fast, fastest car of they 90s. built with the, yeah. with the turbocharged engine. Wow, yeah. fantastic. This is a rare car, I've never seen one in a flash. Probably because there's a reason for it. Because it's Di Tommaso Longchamp GTS and there was only 86 pieces produced ever produced so super rare car with beautiful in beautiful condition and a beautiful color combination blue and and, and beige. Uh, beige interior uh with blue wood yeah what is very special yeah the inside of the car the the color combination and the the, the stitching on the leather and everything is just beautiful amazing amazing looking car so and it's one of 86 you said 86 piece ever produced this is 330 horsepower yeah yeah wow amazing 
and 330 horsepower in this car. Which is more than enough because this is not a modern car, even modern standards, yeah, 330 yeah, horsepower yeah. is not bad. In the 80s, yeah, in the beginning of 80s, it have to be that crazy. That was crazy, crazy much. Yeah. And right next to is a beautiful Maserati. Maserati B-Turbo S, first B-Turbo ever produced in history, yes, yeah? so, that's, and it's very nice uh, tender packet, so it's very exclusive, maybe 10 to 15 pieces uh, ever produced with tender packet. Also the crazy interior, yeah, so it's... I know, it's, it's, I it's, looked at it, it's, it's, it's unusual for an Italian car, <laughs> isn't it? It looks because some snake, uh, snake design or something like that. I bet it's super comfortable. Yeah. Now we're in this, a place where we're showing, well, I'm showing you what this place looks like in 2017, so only a few years ago. So please come with me, come with me, come with me, come with me. Come with me. Still, we got some gorgeous cars, Opel GT, Super Air car, one of them, my favorite cars. But come with me, come with me, come with me. I'll show you the pictures. So this is what this place looks like only a few years ago. And if you're looking at the dates, it's 2017. So this was an old industrial place. This is, this is the place where we are right now. That was the state a few years ago. If you're looking around, some of these places, it's burned down, you know. So they have to replace everything. That, that's, that's, that's the sky bar in here because we got a sky bar up in here. And just to let you know, these were offices in here. So all the walls has been knocked down and make space for all the cars. Come with me, come with me, come with me. Look at this place. Just amazing, you know. All the work went in there. That's the floor we've just been walking through, you know. Look at that. It's just derelict, completely. So, we're gonna show you a picture of from outside as well, what this place looks like now. You know, it's completely ruined. But anyways, shall we just jump back and look at the cars now? We're right next to my all-time favorite car. I have to say, you know, I mean, we all different, but Lamborghini Diablo. I Lamborghini. Think it's, sorry, Lamborghini. <laughs> Lamborghini Diablo. It's, I think, the most amazing looking car ever, period. You say different, drop me down in a comment what's your favorite car in here, but, you know, I think this is the top notch. This is for all-time favorite. Yeah, uh, the, one of the fastest cars of 90s. 500 horsepower in, in 91, so it's, it's something unbe unbelievable. And uh, 0 to 104 seconds, so it's, it's crazy even today, yeah? The car is very, very difficult for driving. It's yes, because I've been told Lamborg Lamborghinis was always a show. It's, show. A, it's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's a poster car, yeah, really. Yeah. It's it was sh it's show car, uh, and, and for driving it's, it's not... So suitable. <laughs> it's really good for advertisement because you got your double red. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On we are it. going with some on, on some show with the car, so we have the stickers now. Yeah, I it. mean, you go anywhere with this, you're gonna have a look. So, yeah, you know, I yeah, mean, sure, this is sure. still it's still a dia blue, sure. and it, this orange burnt orange color, I think, actually really suits it. But it's a bit of story with this car, isn't it? I, this this car was owned by one of the richest, let's say. Uh, Mafia guy in, in Slovakia, he was shot in uh, 2003, so it was his, his car zone in the in 90s. And this car was slightly different color as well. It was uh, black, black, uh, previous color was black one. Yeah? So then it was... What you reckon? You prefer the orange or, or you like to see it in black? I think it's a beautiful car. So we're going to look at the engine now, and uh, the engine is just... Oh. It's amazing. I mean, it's really big, isn't it? You see this this number? It is for valve of electronic fuel injection. Are oh yes, and there's a firing order. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, a firing yeah, order yeah, on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Firing it's for order. somebody to service the car. Do you know what the firing order? Know. But on each Diablo, you can see like this. It's amazing. Ah, definitely crazy car. Right. 
Thank you. You have to change clutch each 8,000 kilometers. On the change clutch eight, yeah. every 8,000 yeah. yeah. kilometers. When you, are, when you are a happy man. In other case, you will burn the clutch after a few kilometers. No way. Yeah, yeah. How much is to change a clutch in one of them? Um, 9,000 9, euro. The cost to drive this car is crazy. You, you, you must calculate maybe 4 euro on one kilometer cost. Four euro in yeah, one yeah, kilometer, yeah. because people worry about, you know, these supercars cost so much money on fuel, but fuel is irrelevant. Fuel is nothing, okay? Fuel even, is nothing. Even it's 30, uh, it's uh, 30 liters on 100 kilometers. When I you need drive to work normally. out that's in MPG, guys, but yeah. yes, yeah. I'm going to put it on the screen. When you drive normally, yeah, but oh, you, wow. can, you can reach even 100 liters, I suppose, on this car, because it's crazy. But, but the, the clutch, you, you have to calculate one euro on kilometer only to the clutch, yeah? Then the service interval, the, the tires, and with, when something is going wrong, you will spend more money than four euro on one kilometer. So wow. you, you must calculate three to four, four euro. Yeah, but this is not made for poor people, isn't yeah. it? It's, it's, it's a Lamborghini. Shall we go to the next car, which is a crazy looking Mercedes, which is a really interesting car because it looks like a DTM racer. Yeah, but it's stronger. <laughs> but it's stronger because this is, it's Clayman, uh, five liters, standard it was 4.3 uh, liter V8. And in Clayman, they, they built this beast and they, uh, they uh, maximized the volume of the engines uh, to five liters and then put huge Clayman compressor. The cost of this, this was around 1000 Deutsche Mark in, in the 90s. So 1, the car, Deutsche Mark. Uh, it's oh, sorry, 100,000. 100,000 100, Deutsche Mark. Yeah, yeah. 100,000 German marks. Uh, so and the car has now 500 horsepower. So it's 30 horsepower more than a standard DTM car. Yeah. Wow. Amazing looking car. I mean, amazing looking car. It looks crazy. It's a uh, civil uh, interior, so you can use the car for daily driving. Yeah. We're coming to a controversial car. How did you love it? Yes, and you're gonna explain why, because apparently this car is not exist, but it, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's something strange, yeah. It's Matic Tuning, one of one worldwide, and uh, it's, it's, it's really crazy car, you, you, you can see it, and the people love it or hate it. It's a, a E30 BMW, uh, it's a very controversial car, but I like it. Me personally, it's, it's one of my favorite cars in the museum. And why people so so controversial about it? They say uh, you made it up because this is not a real car, isn't it? Because yeah, they, they don't story. believe it from Matic Tuning, yes, because they cannot find it on the, on the internet uh, in or in uh, Matic catalogs because they're, they, they made only one, yeah, the car. So it's very hard to, to find, it, uh, find it in catalog. But we have uh, papers uh, that it's from Matic, we can prove it. So, so it's Matic Tuning. <laughs> I never seen this car. Yeah, it's a reason yeah. for it, isn't it? Yeah, because there's only four pieces in the world. Yeah, it's Alpine Le Mans prototype. So I, I suppose you can see it on uh, only in our museum. Yes, I never seen one. In, in the back end, it looks like a, a Contash, Contash. Yeah, yeah, sure. with the wing and the backlights and everything else. The front is just a drop down, you know, especially the terror. So this car built in the 80s? 80s, 80s yeah, yeah. okay. On the, on the end of 70s, let's say. Yeah. Right, Starting because that was the era of the Contash yeah, yeah, and this yeah, concept yeah. of, you know, yeah, these yeah. poster cars, really, isn't it? Yeah, but when we compare with, Con with Contach, there is around 2,000 Contach built, and this is only four pieces. And how many left in the world? You know, this four car is still exist? I know about one, that one still exists in blue color. Right. Mm, this classic Alpine blue, uh, but uh, this, this other two, I have no idea. Maybe they don't exist anymore. We're already next to another Alpine, which is 
as rare as this one, almost. Uh, it's unbelievable, but there are same model line, let's say, that is it's V4, this is V6, yeah? And uh, it's super rare because of the six light, and this V4, there was only maybe 2,000 pieces ever produced, but there are, uh, a lot of them was destroyed because at one moment the cars was not so expensive. So there is maybe a few hundred pieces on the world as well of this, of this uh, six uh, light shapes model. Yeah. Yeah, which is I not I seen quite a few RPMs, but I never seen one with the six lights in because the Because it is V4, yeah. It was first A three hundred ten. They they produce only two years and then they replace with V six, which is based for this car, and it's okay. only four four uh, lights and it was uh, around uh, ten thousand pieces produced. So this is super rare comparing to this four lights model, yeah. And the, this V six model, this Le Mans prototype was was nicknamed uh, Porsche killer is the interesting. I don't, I don't blame them. I mean, it looks a Porsche killer as well. Yeah, yeah. But it's really interesting. If you haven't seen it, probably going to show it on a camera. It's only three studs on the wheels. Yeah. You know, for a car this powerful and they say it's a Porsche killer, it's still three studs on the wheels, which is, it's a really French thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's French. It's a really French thing to have three studs and <laughs> like er, some early Fords had three studs as well, which is, makes mm. it really, really interesting. And when we're walking through, this lovely place, obviously, we can't miss a red Ferrari. And it's a GTB, only around 400 pieces ever produ produced. It's, it's the first turbo Ferrari ever. And it's uh, the, v, uh, the smallest V8 on the road. It's only a uh, two liter motor engine and it's, uh, it's, it's V8, so it's interesting. Because it's under two liter for a reason, because... Yeah, taxis in Italy was crazy for, for cars over two liters, yeah? it was more than 50% of the, of the value of the car, yeah? it was, was some uh, tax. So they, they need to decrease the engine on uh, under two liters and they put then a uh, turbo to this Ferrari. Right, let's go to another super rare car. Pantera. Pantera GTS, Di Tommaso owned the company uh, together with Ford, so they used Ford engine, 5.8 liter. It's 330 horsepower in, in this car, yes. Yeah? So Which is back in the day, it still was really, it's, it's more the, than enough. Yeah, it's more it's, than enough. It's exactly the Contage uh, competition at this, at this time. And when we're look, looking at this car, we're looking at the Alp Alpine as well, and yeah. we're looking at old cars, you know, that era, it, all of them looks the same shape, you know, with drop front, big wheel yeah, tail in the back, yeah. you know, it's, it's the same kind of shape, but this car is, you know, if you see it on the street still today, you're yeah. still going to turn around. It's it. crazy. It's crazy looking car, crazy looking car. And from crazy looking car, shall we go for one of them, the craziest and the biggest engine car from this museum, yeah, which go. is, uh, well, everybody's it. favorite really in America. Yeah. And I think it's the loudest car probably in here as well. Yeah, yeah. Looks like Batmobile, but I think it's stronger. Uh, it's, it's more stronger than Batmobile. <laughs> and just, we're going to show this on a camera, but just a crazy thing. The dials is up in here in the front. <clears throat> it's just, I don't know, can you see outside when you're driving? You know, because all the bonnets scoop on it. Not so much. <laughs> you're not so much. So if you're driving somewhere, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet it's not an easy car to drive. It's crazy car for drive because it's, it's almost 800 horsepower, 8.2 liters. So it's rear, so uh, it's again, no, you, can, you can drive only straight. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you because this is just... And do you have also nitro uh, in the rear? So oh, it's, can, it's yeah, nitro in the back yeah, as well, yeah, on, the, yeah, on the top, yeah. wow. So you can, you can increase the, the horsepower for a short time still. That's crazy, that's just a crazy car. I mean, point, this looks 8.2 liter. 8.2 liter. Edelbrock. That's, that's, that's a, yeah, that's definitely a big block. Edelbrock. You take this out, take this car out for car shows as well. Yeah, we one time we, we we was with this car on one one show. Wow, just amazing that engine, especially that intake as well. You know, I mean, I bet it sounds really crazy. This is, it's loud. It's a loud car, especially with the light yeah, parts yeah, on the yeah, side yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, it's custom made. Yeah, fantastic car. V8 
VR beside by a bit of Americana, a legendary car with the truck engine. Uh, it's V10, we, we sorry. So it's only one V10 supercars from USA, let's say. A very important thing. It's manual, it's not it's, automatic. Yeah, it's manual. Is, that's why everybody loves this car, because yeah. it's crazy yeah. fast. It's, it's uh, almost a liter engine, so it's, it's huge. The, the engine is huge. It's, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking at the bonnet, you know, I mean, yeah, it's the yeah. same size and it's as it's full me. of engine, yeah, sure. And the car was, was so crazy uh, that it's not possible to drive the car. It's, it's uh, not car for driving, really. Uh, and uh, you see the car has no, no door. Uh, no door handles. Door handles. So you, you have to open the car from inside, which is crazy. Yeah? And really? The, so yeah, yeah. How, how do you open it up? When the car is closed, yeah, here do you have some plastic with zipper. And you must unzipper the car, not open the car, but you unzipper, you must put hand in and open like this. It's so, not very secure, isn't it? Not, but the car is crazy. Yeah. There, I mean, there is no sense. Uh, you cannot find <laughs> no. uh, looking for any sense in this car. It's something strange, crazy. That's, that's, that's Viper. I know, it's a lovely car. And let's look at one of them, the rarest car and the craziest car you got in here. Yeah. in the museum, which one was... of the rarest car on the world and one of the most famous car in Czechoslovakia, definitely. I'm beside by a rabbit, but it's a reason for it. Yeah, because the, the man who, who manufactured this car, his name is Adam Kralik. And Kralik means rabbit in English. That's one reason. Yeah. And second reason is that the, the base for this car was Škoda Rapid. So it's something uh, rabbit, rapid. Yeah. It's uh, a bit of a fun game as well, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Let's yeah, say, let's say. And uh, this car is one of, of one in the world. Uh, the car was very famous in 2007, 2012, these, in these years. Uh, the car uh, won around 70 first places for best tuning car in Czechoslovakia and uh, eight first places for the best tuning uh, in the East and Middle Europe. So the car was very famous at this, at this time. There was in all magazines, the posters, we, we all have the posters together with Ferrari, Testarossa, with Lamborghini Diablo, with Porsche Carrera. We had posters of Škoda Rabbit here in Czechoslovakia. And, uh, and the, the second story why the car is so famous is that uh, Rihanna, uh, choose this car to, to her clip, uh, to her movie clip, uh, Shut Up and Drive. So uh, you can see on YouTube this, this clip and the car is, is there in, let's say, main position. Yeah. So it's a super famous car yeah, globally. Yeah, yeah. It's not on just... Over the world because the, 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 the clip of uh, Shut Up and Drive has uh, 500 million views already. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Around the globe, yeah, it's, yeah. it's everybody probably seen this car and probably yeah, no they don't know... What what of car is it? Yeah, yeah. They just seen it in a video yeah, clip. Yeah, you got yeah. some some seen different it. car. There is, and, it, and if you haven't seen this car in the Rihanna's video clip, you probably have a look at it. Then you're gonna realize that this car is in center yeah, of Slovakia, yeah, so. and you know you're more than welcome to come here and have a look at it because it's real, and it's a Skoda. And if you're in America, you probably never heard of Skoda, but it is what it is. Everybody know it because uh, a lot of people in America see the, uh, see the, uh, saw the clip of, with Rihanna, sure. Yeah. Yes. So, they, they know the car when, when they see it, saw it in the clip, yeah. It's a fantastic looking car and uh, somebody put an engine in the back instead of the back seat, which is, yeah, yeah. makes it look... And it's a VR6 engine, so it's the very famous engine, yeah, from Volkswagen Golf. Yeah, and it's called the AK-47. AK-47, it's Adam Kralik, yeah, this initial, and again, some funny, this 47 is the, the gun, yeah, yeah. The automatic gun. Okay, and uh, what was the, the very funny story uh, behind this uh, Rihanna? The, some guys from Rihanna want to, to, to have this uh, car in the video clip, and, uh, but uh, another guy from this team told him that it's not a real car, it's some render, yeah? it's Photoshop. You see how the cars look, it cannot be real. Yeah? So they, they make some investigation and they found that the car in Czech Republic uh, is real. Yeah? So they come to Prague, to Czech Republic, and they, they make the movie in Czech Republic, the, the clip. Oh, so they made actually yeah, the yeah, movie, yeah, okay, yeah, in the video Czech clip in Czech Republic. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. So the car was there. Fantastic. I think it's a great little story. Right, Marcel. 
thank you so much for showing us all this Welcome. car museum and collection and I think it's just the most amazing car collection I've seen so far in you know which is publicly could be watched by anybody not a car show not you know anybody can come here in central Slovakia I'm gonna drop a link in description where you can come and see this collection mm -hmm. and uh, just thank you so much we can film film with you guys because I think it's a must scene for everybody it's so rare and it's not just classic cars you know you got the tuner cars here yeah. which is probably most people never even seen so guys look up on your address is double red car museum mm -hmm. on internet yeah, yeah, yeah. and exactly. whereas the guys can just say about this place you know it's it's a hotel as well yeah we got it's, a bar in here. It's, it's sky bar here so it's a mini golf uh, playground here so enjoy come to visit us and thank you guys for coming thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that button smash that like button and we see you in the next time bye, bye. ciao